From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here's our current fall colors according to Explore Fall. And you'll notice low color being indicated for at least the northern half of the Midlands and then parts of Clarendon County as well. So those colors are starting to change. Our leaves are gradually changing. We'll see more change as we head towards the end of October and certainly as we go into November. As we look towards the mountains of North Carolina, even parts of Tennessee and Virginia, high color there and even maybe some peak color for parts of North Carolina. Our sunsets continue to get a little bit earlier. Sunset will be at 648 today, a week from now 639. And then as the time does change, November 7th will be our first Tuesday after the time change, 526. So time does change on November the 5th. We'll gain that hour of sleep. So we'll fall back an hour. Ragweed in grass is still causing us some seasonal allergy issues. I know it's been causing me some seasonal allergy issues. I feel like I need to sneeze right now, matter of fact. 66 degrees yesterday. It wasn't bad across the Midlands. We did have a, a little bit of rain very early in the day, and then the clouds kind of built back into the Midlands after the clouds kind of moved out. So over the last few days, we've gotten a good amount of rain. Matter of fact, no rain officially at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Yesterday did have a trace, but we had rain on Sunday, at least measurable rainfall Sunday, even Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as well. Not expecting much in the way of any kind of measurable rainfall over the next few days. As of right now, our next best chance rain comes into the picture on Friday for the last day of the work week. There may be a cloud or two later today as we look ahead towards Wednesday morning, clear skies. Cool conditions once again on your Wednesday. And then as we look ahead towards Wednesday afternoon, should see a good bit of sunshine. There may be just a passing cloud or two, but still basically sunny skies on Wednesday. Looking ahead towards Thursday, the clouds start to build into the area. That'll be ahead of our next weather maker. So later in the day, those clouds will build in Thursday. No rain Thursday, but we do expect showers on Friday. So Friday will be our next best chance for rain. Here is the European forecast model showing dry conditions Wednesday, Thursday. That chance for rain on Friday and then dry Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. American model showing basically the same thing. Rain on Friday, dry Wednesday, clouds build in on Thursday, and then we dry Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Dry today with those highs, uh, we'll say upper 60s, low 70s. A little bit of a breeze coming out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tonight, clear and cool once again with lows dropping into the mid to low 40s. Some of those traditionally cooler spots may even be a little traditionally cooler. 71 degrees tomorrow, low to mid 70s on Thursday. Scattered showers on Friday. That rain moves out just in time for the weekend. Low 70s for highs. Saturday, Sunday, low 70s on Monday also. Showers are expected along the coastal region of South Carolina on Friday. The weekend looks good though with those highs right around 70 degrees, low 70s in the upstate with that chance for rain on Friday. And really all across the state, once that rain moves out Friday, looks like it's gonna be pretty dry. Looking ahead, warmer than normal conditions are expected the last several days of October. That'd be October 24th through October 30th. And it does look like it's gonna be drier than normal for us here across the Palmetto State. You look out towards the west, so probably a touch wetter than normal. Still watching this area in the tropics. National Hurricane Center gives it a high chance of further development. There are already some spaghetti models associated with that area of low pressure. You'll notice it may make its way towards the Lesser Antilles and then turn more towards the north and east. If and or when this does get a name, it'll be called Tammy. Here are all the storms for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. So far we've had 19 storms and as we mentioned our next name storm will be Tammy.